Hello YouTubers, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to do a quick video, Killer K9. So we've been getting a lot of these Killer K9 quite on a regular basis. Uh, I think most people should know where they are, but there's that. We also have the weekly one, kill 30 of them if you didn't re-roll. Um, pretty easy to do, I think. Uh, even the 30 one, I tend to kind of steer away from the, the larger numbers, but King K9 is not too bad. So when I think about K9s, I think probably the first place one of the first places I think about is um, Aaron Holt Homestead. There's a bunch of, of mongrels there. Uh, there's, of course, the leader of the pack that starts in this forest region. Of course, if you see that, yeah, all those wolves will count as canines, of course. Uh, the second or, or the secondary place I kind of think of um, is, is Autumn Acre Cavern, right? Uh, so there's a bunch of, there's probably seven wolves over there, so all of them are going to count as canines. So, you know, you could even just server hop at this location and, and blow through those 30 quite easily. Um, the other location, of course, is, I've mentioned this before, is Isolated, I think it's called Isolated Cavern. Investigator's Cavern, I always get those two mixed up. Investigator's Cavern, there's three wolves at this location, typically. Um, and then the one that I don't necessarily remember too often, it's, it's, it's actually close to my camp, or one of my camps, is the Phil Philippi battlefield cemetery so there's probably three or four uh, mongrels at that location uh, as well so that's the one i tend to forget about um, there are also if you're running around um, flatwoods i don't run there too often but if you run up this road there tends to be about three or four mongrels in this area <clears throat> i think they they probably switch out um, but i think they're pretty consistent um, I think uh, I think that's probably it in terms of, and you're going to find some other random location. Of course, of course random spawns will have sort of wolves and stuff. Uh, you got the freak show, which is um, over here, which I believe will sometimes have wolves. Of course, there is a random spawn just kind of down the hill from the freak show as well. That will have random wolves. Anyway, let me know if you have a favorite spot for canines. Um, but yeah, those those are kind of locations. So let's let's start off, and we head over to um, uh, the Autumn Cavern. That's kind of probably my go-to spot if I'm thinking about a bunch of canines. Plus, it's kind of in close close enough to my cavern. I can just jump over there. Like I said, there's uh, there's probably like seven wolves there. Plus, there's a magazine um, spawn inside and a bubble hood spawn as well that you can just go grab while you're there. Anyway, that all allows you to get through your weekly and your daily quite quickly. And a great location for wolves if you're looking for wolves. This is consistent, always has wolves. Okay, so if you head inside, um, you might, there's generally a bobblehead. I think it's on this counter here, on one of these tables. And then there's a magazine uh, location, uh, a spawn right over here at Level Lab 7. And there's a bunch of other stuff. There's some uh, condiments and stuff like that if you're looking for. So anyway, let's head over to um, the second location. 
which is his investigator's cabin. Um, right over here. Let's jump to this. Like I said, there's going to be three walls over this location typically. Then we'll head to Philippe's Cemetery and then we'll head over to Arahol. So I think, unless you're a new player, most of you should be familiar with all of these areas. Just kind of a reminder where these guys are. Get to your spawn somewhere here and then we'll just jump on the roof here. No, it doesn't really matter, I guess. So there's one there. And I am in a private world, so if you come here and they're not here, obviously just uh, you know server hop or come back. Okay, so there's there's three walls there typically. Okay, so let's head up to and again just by the Paso Line path, path is the Felipe Balapan Cemetery. Yeah, you should see a bunch of wolves and again I think that these are pretty consistent as well you've got a jaguar over there uh, you're gonna find one he's running kind of running around the cemetery yeah uh, and there's gonna be like two or three inside plus probably some glowing roaches and stuff if you can make it before they kill them Okay, and then lastly, let's just head over to Aronhold and we'll call it a video. Uh, let me know if you find or prefer a different location or there's another location that has uh, mongrels or wolves that are unmarked or that you kind of know about and want to mention it, help others out. Uh, put it in the comments below. Yeah, if you head over here, there's probably going to be a couple to my right there, uh, depending. Like I said, the leader of the pack will start here as well. There'll be, a, you know, at least 10 wolves in that event. You've got a bunch here. There's one, there's two or two just walking around. There's one in this, this kind of shed over there. And there's one that kind of lies down at the top of the steps. If you actually go to the top, he kind of lies down as you come up. I'll see if I can see him through the window. There he is. He's kind of lying just down by the balcony there, right? So anyway, there you go. I hope you found it useful. If you did, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.